Hey, good evening everybody. Sammy Thunder here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be doing a weekend recap video with y'all tonight. Card shows to Saturday, card show on Sunday. Card show Saturday, I was selling. Made a little under $350 after table fees. That was my profits. A lot of display case sales and some uh, bargain bin purchases and a few binder pickups for set builders. I got a chance to meet Mookie Chilson, one of my subscribers. Really cool guy, had a nice conversation. I also got a chance to see a longtime subscriber of mine, Jimmy, and Jimmy purchased some cards. Congratulations, Jimmy, by the way. Sunday, or today, I uh, went to the Garfield Show in New Jersey. It was the first time that I've ever gone. Everybody talks about how it's a great place to buy vintage. Big show. I was surprised how big the show was. It was probably at least 50 tables, if not more. Vintage ratio with the modern, was probably like 60 modern, 40 vintage. The best thing about these videos is the card show experience. So what I'm going to do different this time is not only am I going to record the tables, show you the footage of the tables that I went to, but I'm also going to give you the dealer information so you can reach out to them. I'm going to have their email addresses, their names. You can reach out to them in the description below. But most importantly, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel so you can get to see more of these baseball card show videos. Uh, and also a lot more SGC submissions coming up soon. So hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell while you're at it. Let's jump to the show. I'll see you back shortly. <laughs> How are you, What's Will? Going on? What's going on? Good to see you. That's a new stuff in here. I got a new Yankee stack. Yeah, you're you're finished with those. You're gonna stop by and say hello. I appreciate it. Good to see you. No, that's what I say. I have almost every single thing. Right, but if you're an Alonzo collector, yes. I have a chance. I have a chance. I have a glove from that season. Can you just be there? Can I have a chance? This is personal. Do you have a glove from this rookie season? Yep. What's your girl? Yep. 1891. Wow. Opening day, 1891. Brad, I'm going to zoom in on that. 132 years ago. Famous, but, uh, but a lot of the comments, I've graded ones, well, 
Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the footage. Uh, a lot of great deals to be made, but a lot of these cards here that I'm going to show you came from uh, bargain bins of five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollar cards, depending on who it was. And uh, so everything that you see marked there is the prices that I set for it for my future shows, which I'm having another one on Sunday, uh, next Sunday at Mount Kisco. So that should be a good one. Doc Gooden will be there. <laughs> got his autograph uh, this summer. Uh, so starting it off, we got this '71 Gibson. Really nice, sharp-looking card of his. Um, these are tough to find in really good shape. So I tried to price these based on what they're going for, what they're comping for on eBay. Uh, here's a 73 Reggie Jackson. Really nice. Another a second one. Uh, really nice-looking cards. Um, here is a 73 Aaron. Really nice-looking. Bob Gibson. 73. This was a really cool one, the Reggie Jackson. I forget the name of the company that makes these, but I've seen them, and I just know a lot of people love collecting these. So I was thinking about keeping this for myself, but I think I might move it just to see if somebody uh, out there likes it. So I got a nice looking Reggie. You got two Thurman Munsons. I feel like this card is more popular than his his actual rookie card from 70, just because it's the action shot. Um, and there, I know there's a story behind it. Someone told me once, I can't remember what it is, about like who was sliding home and so forth, but what a card, right? Got two of them that I'm gonna be selling on my next show. Here's a 75 Munson. Uh, got a couple of Yazes as well. So here's a 76. Here is a Munson. I forget where this comes from. Someone might be able to inform me on this, but I saw it and I thought it looked cool, a little novelty card. Uh, here is a 76 Dennis Eckersley rookie card. Here's a 74 Yaz. This one was my favorite of the bargain bin purchases because it was just kind of sitting there and I was shocked that nobody picked it up. A 58 Brooks Robinson. What a legendary card with him looking at, like with just a look of absolute disgust. Um, I paid 18 for this one. So, you know, I think it's, it's just a cool card. And for someone who's looking for like a low budget uh, Hall of Famer, maybe to fill their set, that this might be worth it to somebody. Um, for Mets fans, Cleon Jones, second year card, 67. Uh, here we have a 69 Al K line. Here's the first card of the 68th set, a batting leaders card with uh, Clemente and uh, Matty Alou. Deckled Edge. Excuse me, people love the Deckled Edge cards, I've noticed. Uh, some of my buyers that have come to my table have asked about these cards. And um, I sold through a lot of them. I think I have like a Juan Marichal left, so I figured, you know, there's a Rod Carew. I'll add this to the pile. Here we have a 1960 Frank Howard rookie card. Very cool looking of his. Uh, 68 All-Star selection of Bob Gibson. Really nice. And here we use another one of Brooks Robinson from the 68th set. Here's a cool looking one. Love the smile on his face. Gotta love it. Ted Williams. Beautiful looking 71. Here's a 1960 Al K line. If I can get this in focus, it'd be great. Anyway, couldn't do it there. Here's a 1970 Carl Yastrzemski. A big Yastrzemski day. A big Thurman Munson day. Bit. This is a really cool card. The Pete Rose 69. Beautiful looking. Should be in the Hall of Fame. That's just my take. Here is a 68 Frank Robinson. Here is a 67 K-Line. Looking great. 
Another Frank Robinson, 67. This one was a cool purchase. The Sandy Koufax, Don Drysdale pitching leaders card in the from the 66 set. More Brooksy, uh, 66. Here is Cleon Jones' actual rookie card from the 66 set. And finally, a, a nice big purchase was this Willie Mays Orlando Cepeda Giant Gunners uh, from the 64 set, I want to say. I'm not as familiar with the inserts, but I yeah, nice addition. So these are all going to be part of my next show uh, so next Sunday, Mount Kisco. So definitely, if you're in the area, come check it out. So the uh, collection purchase of the day was another T206. And I saw this one was available. Uh, John McGraw T206 portrait card. So this was a uh, really cool find. Um, it's a common back with Piedmont, but it's John McGraw. I've been trying to collect more of the New York Giants. And McGraw is a, another Hall of Famer. So I paid 150 for this. Anyway, that wraps it up for this weekend recap. Until then, I hope y'all enjoyed your weekend. Hope y'all had some good card show or card shop finds. I look forward to seeing it. I look forward to seeing what y'all have to say in the comments. And of course, I will see you soon. Take care.